Hello, this is Greta. Welcome to another one of my video reports. This time I have a little treat for you, and a very big one at that. It is a match, a on Blue Storm, a PVT, as they say in Rolling Girl, between Embrace Yourselves, people. This is amazing, okay? Just savoring the moment, okay? You wake, you're paying attention. It is a game between Mark IV and Johnny Vegas. What the fuck? Who the fuck are they? Well, Johnny Vegas, you might know. He's the god of battle reports, as people already know, because I keep repeating it until everyone's bored of it. And Mark IV. Now, if you don't know Mark IV, I suggest you pause this video, go to battlereports.com, and read the interview. Um, that's on the front page, it's like interviews, and then you can like click it, and then you can read about Mark IV. Because Mark IV is one of the first people to actually start writing battle reports. Um, he started way back when, around 99 I think, in 98, 99, around where StarCraft was born. Um, and he did that on the StarCraft s &T forums, which now is the Battle.net forums, which is now infested by small, small-minded morons who like to spam and nobody really cares about them and everyone hopes they die, just like any kind of spammer. Now, so sincerely, Battle.net spammers die. Thank you. So Mark IV, very important man, very great man, is just, I'm not going to go into depth into these people's history. Um, don't worry, it's not that homoerotic homo as you might think, even though it, they spawn the sites, battle reports, and everything around it. But yeah, this, this is, these are just this is mm, magnificent to see. This game is just uh, epic. Okay, now the, the word has been completely raped by uh, World of Warcraft. And everyone who's like being a fanboy of oh my god epic fail <laughs> okay no uh, this is actually an epic game because it's it's also stupendously long um, so this is for you people who want to see poetry uh, forming in Starcraft so this is just a poetic game um, yeah I'm going to go through with it. Phones will ring, I am sure. Uh, voices will disappear, because I got a bit of a cold. But I don't care. Even though you can't hear me, I'm going to go on. Because this will be awesome. So, I've picked it up enough. Let's go to the game. Did I see a, an off offensive fucking refinery from Johnny? Did I miss that? So, Green Terran Johnny. Okay, print it. Never forget the name Johnny Vegas. He is awesome. Never forget the name Mark IV. The Yellow Protoss. Because he is also awesome. Now, enough with the internet chit chat. Because, oh my god, awesome this and awesome this and awesome and epic fail that. I completely and utterly hate it and it's already edging into my vocabulary and I hate that. Because the internet people... It, the, the internet is being, becoming too popular. Let's just keep it at that. We need to kick more people off, okay? We need to, or everyone on the internet needs to become their normal half autistic uh, form creatures and just kick everyone who thinks they're popular off the internet, okay? The internet is for nerds, get the fuck off, okay? okay. And you know that because you're watching a StarCraft VOD, uh, yeah. Let's keep it at that. Let's go to the game, because a lot of th shit is already happening. You can see that we've already been fi four minutes in the game. Usual pro games would have been over by now. But, yeah, we can see a quick Bisu type build from uh, from Mark IV here. He's going straight for his core and du double uh, double gateway. And Johnny Vegas walled off his choke, went too fac, and uh, built some Marines. But then he built this strange construction. Uh, an engineering bay, he built a turret right beside there for some reason. That scouting zealot didn't see it, and he's now building a barracks, a second barracks. He's already got two factories up, which just wow, okay. That 
Zealot's gonna be peppered by Marines. There's a tank producing, first tank out, second machine shop up, siege mode researching, and we're off, people. So, that engineering bay just floating out there. Um, there's dragoons being produced right now, range is being upgraded for Mark IV. Uh, and that barracks is done. I'm really, really curious what's going to happen here because this little um, non-unit contain really. So that, um, yeah, that zealot got completely plastered by. Why do I keep saying plastered? It's something. It's plastered means drunk. So the the yeah, zealot has become drunk. Anyway, uh, those one of the marines died. One is damaged, and the tank cleaned up. Two tanks now, and they're gonna go move straight up. And two SUVs accompanying them, and Marines being produced at the barracks. This is going to be kind of cool. Uh, that it's something exploding. Ah, I see a scouting SUV being killed by a dragoon. Photon cannons going up, so somebody's expecting something. Uh, I've seen in casual games. I've seen Protoss use the Bisu build on Terrans, and I haven't seen it work yet. Really, it's very strange. So this is little attack force here: two tanks, damaged Marine, and two SUVs. Meeting up with these two uh, Terrans right here, these three Marines even, Jesus Christ. And yeah, we've got three Dragoons, one Zealots, and some tanks, and there's a massive amount of Robofac as well. Gateway up, and here we go. They're moving up now, straight into the action, people. Yeah, these are just, this is going to be a wonderful game. I can feel it. So, yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Oh! <laughs> See ya, probes! So that was awesome. Blue Storm. Blue Storm is yeah. Okay. That was about as obvious as I could get. So now we got like Marines here. Those Dragoons, are just, they can't get through this. So fuck them. Uh, they're going around now. But uh, they have to get up. Yeah, they have to take up these four Marines. And no, yeah, fifth here. Another tank here. Uh, let's see, at the base, Johnny's comfortably. Comfortably taking his expansion. These tanks just seven kills on that one tank and one kill on that other. Every probe has just been annihilated. That ta the cannon's gonna go down as well. Uh, these Dragoons realize, Dragoon and Zealot, realize they're not gonna break through this because it's just already closed up completely. Um, another Dragoon going, so Mark has to break this, of course. He's going for it. Uh, observatory going up, maybe good to spot for the tanks, but in the meantime, this back tank already has two kills, and I think those were buildings. No, one, the cannon's down anyway. That next is going to go down if Mark IV doesn't hurry, and he's going in. But there's turrets being built, and Marines here, those Dragoons being averted, they're attacking these SEVs. In the, that's a bunker, by the way. They were attacking the SEVs instead of the Marines. Now, the going in, this might get mopped up. That 9 kill tank sadly is going to go down. 11! 11, 11 HP! Oh my god, and then SCV is going in! Oh my god, look! Hero SCV! It actually kills the fucking S the fucking Nexus! My god, you have just witnessed the most awesome SCV in history. This SCV will go down in history. It's only got one kill, but baby, <laughs> it's a fucking Nexus. SCV just killed the Nexus. Uh, this is the Adun. Of the SEVs, it will be heralded. Let's call him. What we gonna call him? We need a name. We need a name. People, okay, in the comments, if you see, you've seen this SEV right here. It's gonna go. It's one. It wants more blood. Oh no! It's going. Ah, oh, no. The hero is sadly not. Uh, he, he dies. He actually tried to build something. The idiot. He tried to build a bunker. And got killed. That that's balls right there. Just building in front of a fucking photon cannon. Yeah. You see, that was the most ballsy, most awesome SCV in the history of StarCraft. Okay? I don't care. Boxers SCVs have got nothing on this guy. He just killed the Nexus. Okay? Good. Uh yeah. In the comments, name this SCV. Give him a